What is going on everybody and thank you for checking out another review from the Snorlax today. As you can see we are looking at the Marvel Studios the first 10 years Legends series Ronin. Uh, we've been desperately needing some Marvel villains from the MCU. Glad we finally got them. Uh, they are statues in action figure form. I will say that. Uh, first, let's go ahead and look at the packaging that Mr. Ronan comes in. Uh, it's pretty nice. I like what they did with the with the box. Uh, so you have the red outline. You have the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy logo down here. Um, obviously, you have some awesome, awesome artwork that's kind of faded in the back uh, that you can see there, and it goes all the way around. And then you got some really cool. Uh, looks like fan art of Guardians. And then on the back, as the floosh mentioned, if you watch him, there's his MySpace picture with a little bio. And then you got a nice Guardians of the Galaxy movie poster there. And there's another little bio of the Guardians. Fantastic. Everybody's favorite part, the packaging. Now let's get on to the figure. There is some awesome detail that is happening with my man Ronan here, um, but he can't he can't really do any action pose other than what you're seeing. So if you're looking for a Ronin to stand like this on your shelf, feel free to pick this guy up. Uh, so I, yeah, that's my complaint. But uh, they're it's they're charging a little bit extra and. Uh, yeah, these are figures that we just wanted, and they made the packaging really nice, so I feel like we're getting cheated somewhat. But other than that, the sculpt is really, really good. I mean, that looks like the actor who played him. Uh, if my camera will pick it up, his eyes have a somewhat purple tint. Let's see. Nope. nope. Not going to happen today. Um... But I like uh, what they did with the suit. It is movie accurate. There's a lot of texture. I like uh, they use the soft rubber down here. And this is actually dual sided. Usually you won't get it on the opposite or the inside part of their loincloth, skirt, whatever you want to call it. Um, so it's cool that they added the texture on both sides. And they actually have ridges going down uh, the seam there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the loincloth part doesn't have it. Uh, it's just one-sided, but uh, it does have texture on the thigh pads there, and it does stand. The weight um, is really nice on this figure, so it does stand really well. Uh, haven't had any issues with that, which you shouldn't, um, but if you've seen any other reviews previous to this one, then you'll, you already know what's coming. His hood is connected to his shoulder pads. So anytime you move the head, that's what you get. There's no detaching from that. So he can't look left, he can't look right, he can't do anything but that and look good. Um, as you can see, mine's a little loose right there, which is not cool. It doesn't click at all, which it should. So that's annoying. Um, yeah, that's really bothering me the more I think about it. Um, and then you do get his little hammer, a little war hammer, and they put it on a peg, which I thought was kind of interesting. I'm not sure why you would need to do that. Um, maybe, it, did it come off in the movie and I'm just forgetting about it? Maybe I need to watch it again. It's been a while. Um, but... Other than that, the sculpt is really good. I mean, that's pretty much all you can say about this figure is that the sculpt is really good. And look at that. That's insane. Not tight at all. Um, the arms, if you try to straighten the arms out, they only go to right there. They're hindered by that pad back there. They can get a nice range going forward. Um, the joints in the shoulder are actually pretty pretty tight so that's good um, super tight going up so I guess that's as far as he's going there that one's a little bit looser get a better range of motion 
Uh, you got swivels at the wrist, hinge at the wrist. You got the double jointed knees, which doesn't really matter because it's going to be hindered by that skirt piece there. And as far as the foot, you got the down and you got the swivel. So, super short review because there's not a lot to brag about. Uh, what you see is what you get. Um, I'm glad to have a villain because we needed one. It'll look good on my shelf, but as far as like taking pictures or getting him into any kind of action pose, it ain't going to happen. Um, so, which is unfortunate because we are paying a little extra for these. So hopefully the rest of the line that comes out is a little bit better than this one. I'm, I'm sure not everybody's going to have the problem with the chest being loose. Um, but everybody's going to have the problem with the hood and the shoulder pads. And everybody's going to have problem with the posability when it comes to this uh, skirt piece being in the way. But other than that, it looks good. I don't want to be a Debbie Downer this whole time. It, it's a good looking statue uh, in a action figure form. So that's my review. <laughs> if you agree, let me know. If you disagree, let me know. Interesting. Interested to see what you guys and gals have to say about this. Um, other than that, I got another review of uh, Super Mario. So that's coming up here in a little while, but everybody have a good day and stay cool out there. It's Texas here and it's 105 degrees outside, so yay! Oh well. Bye bye!